Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's beautiful. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. This is the morning view from Fricker's balcony. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We've got a full day today. We're um, off down to La Cala to play and practice with Alvaro. Alvaro is a balletta. Yes. Right, okay, I'm glad she said that. Very good player. Mm. Yeah, exciting. He shot 60 the other day, didn't he? Yeah. In 60, a comp. 60, 11 under. And he's got what? Challenge tour card? Challenge tour card, yeah. Okay. So on the way, we need to stop in Marbella. Um, you'd have probably noticed the sound quality of this isn't great. My microphone that I brought out here, my Rode VideoMic Pro, has broke after three months. So what's the town over there? Salaminas. Salaminas. Yeah. Is that how it's pronounced? Pretty sure it is. You're pretty good. I know you can. <laughs> can you speak a bit of Spanish? Poquito, a little bit. A little <laughs> bit. My brother's fluent. Really? Yeah, I'm learning. Okay. That's a little bit more than me. <laughs> la la, la Canada. <laughs> Shop down the road now. If we turn that off, just in case they get a copyright strike <laughs> <laughs> from like Pablo, from some Pablo Escobar, <laughs> this, this place in Spain, Pablo Escobar. Of course, on your left, is it? El Parejo. Okay, got some rugby posts it? for the in the driving range. Mm. Nice course there. Really good short game area. Hey, there's so many golf courses around here, isn't there? It's just like, you go down the road, there's a golf course. You go around the corner, there's a golf course. Yeah. Yeah, we're staying at this place near um, Finca Cortezine, which is, uh, well, it's unreal, isn't it? We went in there yesterday and tried to um, tried to get around there, but uh, we're just waiting on a reply. But that's like behind our apartment, pretty much, isn't it? Yeah. Like, literally behind it. Three minutes away. Okay, Port Benus. Just arrived. <laughs> Port would get loose. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it's a bit, bit wild here, isn't it? No, man. In the summers it is. Yeah, it's a quiet time, is it? Yeah. Which is good for us. So we're going to a place that we're not going to be able to afford a lot, right? <laughs> it's pretty affordable. Oh look, I'm the, area, really. I'm the cannon shop in the mall did not have microphones for some reason, so the closest place we could go is Malaga, but that is a bit of a mission up the road. So today, I'm just going to have to deal with this microphone. It's not going to be too bad unless there's wind, and typically the car is like very calm. It's like in the mountains and quite sheltered, so hopefully it'll be fine. What just happened, Leon? Lost my ticket. <laughs> So I had to show the gentleman on my passport. Was he a gentleman or...? No, he was a mama whale. A puta. <laughs> El a puta. <laughs> a bitch. <laughs> so we're just heading into La Cala Resort now. Bosch. I think that's the, yeah, the Europa down there. You liking the look of this then? Looks amazing. You've yeah. not played the courses, you've just been up here practicing? Yeah, I've practiced here once and I've come up to see Alvaro before, but I've never played the courses. And they have Alps Q School here. Oh, do they? On two of the courses. Right. I think it's the Europe, the Asia and the America. Yeah, 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 probably this. Yeah, it's not a bad view when you get up here. 
and you look over the edge. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's nice and calm up here. It's so like hidden in the mountains. They do, they, they build golf courses where you're kind of not even supposed to build golf courses really on the side of mountains through the through the hills and you have some of the coolest backdrops in the holes because of it yeah you need you need buggies around this place <laughs> <laughs> you're not walking these hard as walk. <laughs> what have you got there i think this is gloves just a few fresh ones from callaway yeah it's from callaway oh mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That would keep me going. Tour authentic. One around. <laughs> and some chrome softs. Lovely. Chrome soft X. I've been losing about three around. <laughs> <laughs> Leon's just uh, got a new putter grip. Testing out the new grip. This is what I've had on the putters for a while, this flat so. Yeah. 1.0, it's, it's nice. Um, you just got it because it's black and white and it goes with your outfit, yeah? It, not the outfit, the, the golf club. The golf club <laughs> and the outfit. The golf club, what? <laughs> <laughs> Change grip every day for the outfit. <laughs> so James, yesterday, we are having a little look at his golf swing. Yeah, and not a million miles away in a lot of places. Either, but no, it's really close. I just think it just needs a little bit of tightening up and yeah. that glove under the arm. The one thing we looked at last night was I'm now managing to stay with the ball, which is great, um, at least into the backswing. But like you were saying, the, the right arm does lose connection a tiny bit and yeah. the club goes up. And then from there, I'm still sort of like raising the hips into it. Early, like humping the donkey. Yeah, so you get kind of like <laughs> up here, disconnected. <laughs> and then here, which just encourages that shark and then presenting quite a lot of loft. Sure. So, I mean, all you're saying is keep it tucked a bit more. Better. And then from there, just rotate hard left. Yeah. Well, just keep the, stay, the face more stable through the ball, I think, for sure. It'll allow you to rotate more. Nice. So from that, so with the, with the glove under the arm, don't think about anything else other than you want to start this ball left of the target yeah. and hold it, like almost feel like you're playing a little cut back. Close. I'm trying to get away from too many feel, uh, thoughts and more so into seeing shapes. So I have this line out, getting some draws, hitting some fades that don't cross the line. So starting it right for a draw, not crossing. Okay. And then the opposite for the fade. Um, and then just gloves under both arms. Just yeah, just well. disconnection and stuff. It's quite a common one, isn't it, that you see with like good players yeah. working on that and coaches will generally get good players to work on that. I think if you're connected, if you're working, if your body's synced nicely, then you're generally gonna make a pretty good pass at the ball. Nice. Yes, I'm Fabian and I'm a pro here at La Cala. So, yes, if you if you come, just say hello. So you got a YouTube channel as well, yeah? Yes, I have a YouTube channel, Fabian Lozano Golf. It's in Spanish, so if you want to learn some Spanish, <laughs> <laughs> I have a, an online academy in Spanish as well. It's in my it's in my website, FabianLozanoGolf.com. There we go. Uh, they are in Spanish, and obviously we do live lessons, online yeah. lessons. And, I got yeah. a message from Instagram. Actually, one of the guys was talking about your wedge matrix thing. Oh yeah. So yeah. this is a... Oh yeah, that's a thing that I learned from James Ridger. He's a... Oh, the, the... Yeah. So that kind of technique, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Rotation. I'm, yeah, and certified by, by him. Okay. And yeah, it's a system that improves your short game a lot, miles, yeah. you know? When I learned that system, it was yeah. completely new. Me and Leon have been working on that, actually. So yeah. that kind of technique where you use the bounce shaft exactly. here, rotate through. Exactly, control the lowest point of the yeah. arc. It's really helpful. the me. bounce is really good. Really good. That. Only that. Only that. The uh, most long. Uh, I mean, as you know, Seve learned with only three iron hands. Yeah. That's why he had this Spanish hand, yeah, you know, Spanish the magic hands. hands yeah. like Alvaro has the Spanish uh, hands. Right? And you know, this thing <laughs> of James Richard, you know, it completely blew my mind off about Shogun. It was awesome. Were you everything back foot, leading hands? Yeah, I mean, Basically, 
what he was what he was doing or I was teaching before is you know the kind of typical thing that you go wait on the left ball is slightly back then trying to hit ball first then yeah. yeah and then with James Richard we learned that the ball can be not in the middle can be even more on the left yeah left heel and then shaft neutral yeah then you control the radius of the arc and in fact you need to touch the ground then the ball yeah, yeah. And then so you're almost was, chunking them right exactly and then it was amazing you know obviously the first time that i tried it was like there but then as you get the the control of the radius then you feel that the bounce works perfectly yeah and then when you get this really good spin on the ball and you have a margin for error which is just what you were saying yesterday right which is yeah. like five six inches much yeah instead yeah, of it's nothing amazing, you know and yeah. and i saw james Ritja, james Ritja hitting from the mat yeah. you know i mean if i if i get this kind of light it's like wow yeah okay okay so one drill that is used to get the feeling in your body instead of being too technical in the mind is to hit balls eyes close so then the feeling of the of the drill ingrains easily yep. in the body that's the secret goes. so try to make eyes close so we're trying this it is interesting nailed that nice. yep <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's I mean, the best balance, way. Balance is off, obviously. Yeah, of course. Jet, but... Of course. But this is something to to record the feeling faster in your body and apply in competition. You want to play by feeling, not by thinking. Yeah, then I Can tried I to get the, the, the I tried to get yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And this guy was and this guy yeah. was hitting was hitting spinners from the mud. Yeah. Crazy. I'm gonna try this par three course out, which is what I've talked about before. It looks pretty sick, doesn't it? Looks awesome. Six holes, no idea. Yeah, I think they're all under like 120 yards. Little course log, Let's see what we do. Right, hole one, 120 yards into the wind off the right. It's a bit of a breeze up there. What have you got? I've got 52, slightly downhill. James has decided to putt this one. Smart choice. Oh! Oh, it went. I've got a serious little hole here. 131 yards. Straight over the ravine to a raised green. In off the right again. Yeah, in off the right, slightly up. Playing 140. Yeah, I'd say so. What have you got? Wedge? Got wedge, just a little, little one. Just add it. Is it enough? Good. Yeah, good shot. Got pitching wedge as well. Oh, great shot. Pat. Oh, we stepped up onto the uh, the third tier of a quality hole. 115. 115 over another ravine. It looks like if you get this on the front edge, it's got a false front, so it's going to just rip back. Yeah. I don't know how they've built this on this bit of land, you know? 
It's the side of a the side of a mountain, like cliff. Yeah. Pretty much. It did. Oh, it certainly did. Sit down hard. Sit. Oh my god. Darby. Here we've got front flag, something that did a little bit of work with my coach in America. Front flag, trouble short. Now for you, 48 degree wedge goes probably what? 135? 135 yeah. if you hit it hard. If you hit it hard. So 56 degree goes what? 120? Yeah, no, not even that. 150? I rarely hit it hard, yeah. Okay. But you've got like slightly downward hill, the wind's off the right, it's playing about 110, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So front flag, would you prefer to hit something full that's going to go past the flag and come back to you? Or play something soft that you know is kind of getting away from you is going to struggle to spin when it lands yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm going for that option. So, so it's 54 all day, isn't 54, it? 54, you know, you've got to use your length. Sometimes there's a time to play a lower one, take some spin off. Other times, good time to send it past it and bring it back, so 54. Yeah. Good speed. Much going on? A little bit from the right, a little bit downhill. Oh, oh mate. Take that. I'm going to give this probably a centimetre from the centre. Cool. Good up and down. Just stepped on the hole four of six. Another great little par three. This is, this is quality. And look at that house. 160. Yep. Take the dip. Beautiful. Drifting hot. Wow, where's the wind gone? Pretty tasty view. Do you like it? <laughs> Tight lie. Let's go in that way. Up a big slope. Mm. Let's see what you've got. Another chance to showcase. Yeah. It probably doesn't actually look that hard on camera, but that's pretty brutal. Bit of a better lie. Bit of a better lie. So this is for you just fairly. Fairly clockwork for you, this, isn't it? Just nip it. <laughs> Just nip it underneath. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's about as good as you're doing from there. James chosen the putter. Smart choice. Stayed there. Good roll. Go up and down. Nine. 79 yards. Uphill. Uphill. Downwind. Apparently he's playing 85. 56. About 60. Have you? Looks like the pin's quite close to us. So. He's trying to hit this 90%. Yeah, probably 85 yard shot. Yeah, 85% shot, 85%. Oh, could be very good. Looks good. Nice. Gonna rip back as well, isn't it? has jumped through somehow. Always pretty close. I think mine spun back down the slope. I think that's mine pitched just over yours. Just over. Oh no, I did ask. I <laughs> moved right at the end to win.
he's done not it. From your part. <laughs> <laughs> How would you rate that victory in your career so far? It's got to be right up there with, like, well, number one best yeah. victory so far. Yeah. I've, Nine I'm... holes, well, five holes at Lacanada. Short course. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, that's what list. I would have expected, to be fair. Thank you. I mean, I beat the gorilla. <laughs> I beat the gorilla, mate. <laughs> One turn. Off the left. I it's think pretty much straight across, isn't it? Yeah. I think 56 this time. Yeah. Is that what's your 56 number? Or oh, numbers? Have you got like a have you got like a selection of numbers I of each club? Yeah, I haven't been able to get on Trackman since I got these new wedges. Um, I normally just do a half, three quarter full um, on the clock face. Yeah. And I have my, my numbers with them, with all three wedges and pitching wedge also. Um, sorry, four wedges. Who you got? 56. Cool. Drifting so much. You can hit balls in here to try and improve on those. Really bad shots. It's better. Still drifting a lot. I reckon just land it on the fringe, let it trickle through. Like so. Yeah. So Alvaro that we're meeting in a second's got full challenge for next year, yeah. which is pretty sick. He is a legend. He is the nicest guy. Met him last year. Super, super talented. Never had a golf lesson in his life. Just got the best hands you'll see. He's been a member here for three years now. He's got an apartment on site and this is where he based, he based from? himself. He's from Colombia. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. So he got through Alps here three years ago, I think. Yeah. Played uh, two years on Alps and got his card last year. So, exciting times for him. Get your reaction, what you think of the first view after you break your phone. After I break the bushnell. America again. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, how thick is this, mate? It's not bad, is it? Where'd you go? Just round the corner. It's par five round the corner, a, five. about 5.30, I think. It was three with six iron for me last time, but the wind's into a bit this time. Slightly different. I think it's like 270 oh, bunkers on the left. So you can either like, you can either take driver on a dangerous line or, you could probably hit driver out onto the other fairway to be fair, but, but, Honestly, these trees, when you get down there, they look so small from here. They're massive. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Should be fine. 155. Five. A little flick into this hole. Easy. Is that pin like pretty, pretty central? Uh, like it left, looks left pretty right, central. Um, it's more right than left. Okay. Cool. When you get down here, there's so much room, isn't there? There's loads, mate. That's... You've got another 50 yards there. That's a great swing. Quality. Fast one down the hill. Birdie putt. Good roll. Good putt, mate.
Yes. Nice. <laughs> Poles one set 370. 370. Bunker short. Obviously for us we can get it to within sort of 50, 60 yards. Yeah. A little bit downhill. And then the green is raised. So fun stat from the PJ Tour. Um, they did a test on whether laying back to good yardages is actually better than getting the ball as close as you can to the hole. And it, they proved that the closer you are to the hole, the better your proximity is. Yeah, this is bottom that's, line. That's it. Good swing. Wind's in your face a little. Yeah. It's <clears throat> 60 up over the tree. Like it. Right, Lean's got a fairly tricky, tricky shot. He's got about 40 yards. Pin is cut front. He's playing up a slope. He's probably playing up about 10 yards. Just got to get a really nippy one going in here. Like that. It's probably the best you can do. What do you see here? It's going to move to the left. Go. Stretch. It's fine. Keyhole free, you saw it the other day. It's when we hit my two iron, like 310 somehow. So we're just gonna lay back a bit. We've both got fours. Give yourself a bit of a fuller shot in. Okay. One twenty, uphill, five yards into the wind. Five. Five uphill, five into the wind. Yeah, I would say. One thirty. Yeah. Back flag. Back flag. I'm trying to control the spin. This is the one, then, isn't it? See if you can chip a pitching wedge. Yep. Or hit a little forty-eight. Well, it's not a little forty-eight. No, it's a big one, right? Yeah. Chipping the pitching wedge. I'm probably going to chip pitching wedge too. Try and land it 125, no, 120, 120 yeah, shot. Good swing. Yeah, first few holes I had so many swing forts. I'm thinking keep the arms connected whilst keeping your head over the ball and then also try and get the left hip moving left. Ooh. Starting the downswing. Goodness gracious. <laughs> You get a book out for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's such a great flight. Nice and controlled. Yeah, that come out probably like half the height of mine there. Little puncher. Yeah, this is uh, more like, this is more what we're supposed to do. <laughs> so, Competition's coming up. Talk me through your putting routine when you get on the green. Yeah, putting routine. I've kind of been working on that recently to get some kind of routine. Okay. I usually just circle the hole. Prowling, like Tiger. Yeah. But he's a gorilla instead. No, Tiger's a different animal, isn't he? Tiger is a different animal. An animal is a different <laughs> animal. <laughs> so just circle 360. Try and get an idea and then get behind it and read it. Try and get it to finish it. Are you a midpoint breaker or do you see your point at the hole? I see it like what angle it's coming in at. Cool. And then 
because obviously it's going to move most in the last part generally it's slowing down see it's entry and then try and get a aim from there nice oh you couldn't have written it down any better Maybe I should just explain to my playing partners what I'm doing at all times. <laughs> Guys, I'm just like 360 in this a minute. What about me? Yeah. So, something I've, I'm really going to work on from now, something I remembered the guys from SICK taught me is pacing off the putt to start with. Really helps with speed control um, over time. Both sides look. And then come in, trust my feet. Normally pick on a putt this length, I'll just get one point. One. Aim point and then my eyes grain factor it all in and so a bit more complex. A little bit more. So you're getting a mid so you're getting a midpoint read there with your feet. With my feet. Just to so what do you do? You get over it, feet down, and then shut your eyes and feel. Um well you can do eyes shut or you can just, just make sure your eyes are level and then just feel with your feet. Your feet will never lie but your eyes are muscles so you can actually, like your eyes can lie to you. Mm. Um, so your feet is always a good one to, to go off and then always check grain especially in America or Asia but where the grain grass is more grainy. Here it's not as much but yeah, it's not really factoring it's, in a little. You think and then get the line on the ball and roll it. <laughs> Easy money. 202. Into the wind. It is into, isn't it? There's a bit of breeze up there. Flat in off the left slightly. Do you think that's playing 15, 10? 15, yeah. For me, it's, if you hit it a bit flatter, it kind of takes less your flight takes less of the wind, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it? Does it all feed in from the left? It does down there, yeah. I'm probably gonna there's, again, there's more, there's more room than it looks. Yeah. I'm just gonna cut a five in there, I think. Cut a five. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, it's a beautiful flight. Just left. Looks awesome. Oh, that got so unlucky. It landed right on the fringe. Nice shot. Right, Ian's got really unlucky there. I think he's just probably pitched into this bank. He's just released down into the bunker. Look good in the air. Tricky little hollis. Such a small green for, you know, like a full five iron. That is delightful, but this has come out right. It's not easy, is it? Just saying, it's quite a small target for a uh, for a full five line, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Especially one that's like as severe as this. It's a small target, but also like yeah. half the green's out of play. Yeah, I'm going to struggle to leave my putt within ten foot if I if it misses, basically. Yeah. What are you seeing? A lot. It's about ten on the. Uh... About ten on aim point. <laughs> <laughs> you aiming at my ball? Aiming at your ball. Oh, look at the guy. <laughs> I actually heard that hit the hole. <laughs> that made a noise. <laughs> okay. I just... So James, four or five days outside of England now. How does it feel to be on the golf course at coming up to six o'clock with as light and bright as it is? The channel's going to be buzzing to see all of this stuff. <laughs> they're going to be slightly uh, <laughs> envious. Slightly jealous. Yeah. We'll be able to set up a right, holiday so thing. This, 
greens back up past the crane, like near the red crane. Um, I'm hitting this, which is, I mean, it's slightly down to the right, so it's going to go about 250. Is that the new one? This is, this is, uh, this happens to be the new is one. Is that, right? are you sponsored by Callaway? Um, I actually am, mate. Oh, wow, that looks very nice. Is that news to be like? Oof. Shut up, it's got it by a yard. Nice. Yeah, nice shot. 96. Just up a bit, isn't it? Where's that guy? Do you think that's the back? I think it's at the back, yeah. Any tears involved in there? Um, from what I remember, it's just straight up the green, no tears, but fairly sloping from back to front. Looks good. Pretty straight. Got this one about a cup out to the right, just happening mostly at the start of this cut. Just a bit pushed. Kind of went right. <laughs> 14 feet for birdie. He's got a good look here, right inside DeMarco's ball. We're gonna get a bird's eye view on this one. Hit the hole. Oh! I heard it hit the hole. Hit the yeah. hole. Good for I think it might be, is, see there's a bunk on the right side of the fairway up here. Yep. I think you can get driver over there. I'm just going to get okay. a yardage to that. Is it a par five? It's a par five, and the green's right at the top. I hit freeward just to the left of that bunker on the on the left okay. last time. And then from there, I couldn't even do anything. I had to like chip it over the tree. So, let's see what we got. Tech, tech, tech's doing some work. Tech, tech, tech. 230 to the bunker from here. 230 to the bunker. There's about a 270 carry to that bunker from the tee. Okay. Which is fine. It's first to sit drive. Cool. So the plans are to do this Maverick series with this, with Callaway. And they're trying to get some some of the, you know, the Callaway tour pros. There's talks of possibly getting Tom Lewis if we can. Yay. Which would be quite cool. Oh yeah. Money. That's perfect. Still hasn't come down. Okay, it's down. It's okay. It's pretty good there. Should just kick to the right. Cool. I think it's good. Oh, shit now, look. He's not used to that, is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must have just caught, like, there's no chance I would hit it past you. <laughs> Yeah, 25 up, I'd say. 211, 235, into 10, maybe. Oh, we got a little ball flat action. Oh, it's a trap. Just caught the trap. Just caught the trap. Playing. Well, I've got 150 to the flag, because I outdrove you by 75 yards. <laughs> 200. Playing 225, 230. Yeah. I think we're going to try and move a four iron as well. Yeah. It was slightly thicker than mine, got a bit more juice in them, I think. Yes, you see it? No. Oh, baby. Spin a little. Well played. Almost Come back. Like... Yeah, nice shot. Have you got one of those lies with the little tufts? Yeah, it's like one in front, one behind, and then there's <laughs> kind of like a big, strong grain of grass like going underneath the ball, which doesn't really let the club sit in. But... So what's your, what what did you do in this situation? The shot I was teaching you a couple, well, yesterday. Yeah. Get the, right up in the lifeline, shove the toe in the ground, stand real close and just try and take it out and can play, be quite aggressive okay. with the ground interaction then. And you don't have to be scared about This is the one where digging. I thought looked brave, but you've obviously practiced this and yeah, you know how it's coming out, you know? 
Tough to get this one close still. Very. I cannot even explain how good that is. That is a joke. That is an absolute joke. From that lie, if people haven't played in Spain before, the grass is like stronger and a slight misconnection can lead you looking very silly just because it just grabs the head, but that's, that's ridiculous. Oh, that was just ridiculous. The scenery that you've got up here is mental. It's a picture, isn't it? So I think, what well, we got? 417 meters, about 450 yards, but it plays very downhill. I was trying to get a driver going over the edge of that bunker. Left side of that bunker is perfect. And it just feeds around to the right. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that is hit hard. I think there's a bit of room down there. Okay. Oh, baby. Be the number. <laughs> yeah, it's over the bunker. Great drive. There it is, and got the nice bounce. How do you feel? A pretty good one. Huh? Good. Right, Liam's got 124 yards. Can't get anywhere near the green from here. Are you trying to bend one a bit? This is YouTube, mate. It is YouTube, you're right, I'm gonna bend it. <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. Oh. For you wondering what that noise is, it's the drain. <laughs> you're not having a piss left. No. Where's the flag? Do you see it? You know. Yeah, okay. See that? Yeah. I, um, I'm wasted in basketball, to be honest. Got a good vertical. Wasted in golf, wasted you mean. In golf. <laughs> <laughs> nice looking shot. Go. I've got. You gotta do some maths now. Gotta do some maths. Quick math. 95 you had. 2 plus Minus 2. 17. <laughs> 60, 75. Zero, 85. Quick math. Uh, 68. Mm. <laughs> Looks good. Can't see. Can't see. Nice little look for birdie there. <laughs> nice read. You're gonna get off me, it's a little schooling. I'm going to give it the, the Phil Mickelson master's running, you know, when he's like waiting. <laughs> and I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to stand right behind your ball and zoom in when you hit it as well. Zoom. And then go over the, uh, go over the go, video. Like go home, download it, look at it in slow-mo, come yeah. back. Come back, hit your putt. And yeah. miss it, probably, so. Leave it short. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Ooh. It moved a centimeter. The problem is now we have zero excuses. Zero. So, we don't need excuses. we're gonna just get really involved with this putt now. Okay. Oh, oh we got a bird's eye view of that one. You just saw the house. <sighs> Mate, this looks so sick on the video. <laughs> Doesn't look real. La Concha. God, it's special. I don't want to go home, ever. <laughs> you don't go home, that's the thing. No, it's nice. <laughs> You're going to Thailand in a few weeks. Thailand in 19 days. So, I've got a couple of friends out there already. They've, they're out for Asian tour, first stage of Asian tour qualifying. 
and obviously with the coronavirus going on, they were a little worried, but got the all clear. It's it's fine in Thailand. So really, looking okay. forward to getting out there. That's good. Okay, how far? One three five, playing. What is one forty? Mm -hmm. It's got so a little just nine. Grip down wedge. It didn't work at all. Hung it out there. Oh baby. Hold it, hold it. Just left of it. Bunker. Very tough shot. Landing on a down slope. In that's so good. You don't know how good that shot is there. James, well done. Muy bien. I don't know what, mate, but... Right, but... Speed. Nice, great up and down there. Yeah. Whoa, That's we were. Gentleman. Very nice. Very nice, how much? So, what's the play? Well... The other day I hit driver pretty well and I was about 25 yards short of where it runs out down there. Okay. So I'd say you'd struggle to get it to more it? than... Nah, you'll get it to it today. Yeah, downwind, okay. You struggle to get it more than that. More, you struggle to hit it in hazard, I think. Can you take it over there? Yeah, you can. Over so to the right? There's some room. The line really is straight over the middle of the bunker. Okay. And it will bounce right. Pure. You know, release down to the right. There it is. Yeah. A1. We got about 180 from there. Great shot. It's the first shot I've hit with a real golf ball with that free wood. It works. Straight over the bunker. Should see it coming over right side of the bunker. Oh, that's a great shot. Spot on. Hang time. That's crazy. You got. Wedge. We'll get a bird's eye view over here. Adrenaline was firing. <laughs> what was that? 150. <laughs> this Downwind, is, this five. is inviting, isn't it? It is. Was it downhill, five yards? Wind's not really doing much. Nah, it's died. Pitch and wedge? Pitch and wedge. Well done. Six under through nine. Player. Just for the camera, man. Yeah. Bit funky. Yeah, it's a tricky one. I'm so sorry, guys. Just tap it in for five under. For five under. Yes. Ooh. Dirty. Thanks, mate. Good part, good birdie, mate. Oh, we got it back to level. Right, that was a good day. Well played, mate. Thanks, mate. That was solid. Five under through nine. Just got it back to level. Game's feeling good. Yours must be feeling good. You're hitting it well. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. 
just uh, looking forward to look into now.